Since David Lockery was always overshadowed by Divine, it made him feel really good, and I've been re feeling really good about these boys ever since. Originally from Ohio, why, oh, why, Ohio? They, they started their careers like I did, pissed off. And they had a real reason to be nuts. Their fellow friends were killed at Kent State University by the police. So they started a de-evolution that we're still feeling. They challenged illegitimate authority, they said, and so should you. It's worse now than it ever was. Trump is a feckless prick. A shithole of a president. An orange anus, as Rosie McDonald called him who kidnaps children, tosses paper towels to hurricane victims, is so dumb he stares at the eclipse with that stupid wife who's a clueless dresser who no drag queen would ever imitate. Yeah. What better band to protest his stupidity and first degree assholeism than our boys tonight from outer space? Yet our political situation is not science fiction, it's real. Before New Wave, ahead of Industrial, alternative way before the word was coined, this band was no media inter invention, it was a grassroots movement that everybody here has embraced. David Bowie loved them, Iggy loved them, I loved them. One of the bandmates even told me once that I was in a titty bar with them doing coke. I thought, what was I doing in a titty bar? I was under Devo's spell, that's it. And tonight, so even more so, with my friend Freddie Armisen playing the drums. Oh, I know, they're one of the most influential bands in musical history. Promoters used to unplug their equipment to stop their messages, but not tonight. Because we're a cult, glad to be brainwashed. Tonight is Jonestown with a happy ending. Let's pray to them. Let's levitate and joy. It's a miracle playing together for the first time in four years. It's a burger boogaloo wet dream. It's Devo.